Cheese Plant Fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So, I literally just got home from the gym. I put on a different sweatshirt, so there's that. But, um, looking like a hot mess, but I... <laughs> really can't delay opening this box because this is an import that I ordered from um, Aeroid Asia and most of its inventory but one of them was for me and it's like a major wish list plant the problem is um, this was supposed to be here on Monday and it's Friday so, also, warning, this is probably going to be the most chaotic unboxing ever because I'm a hot mess. David's cooking in the kitchen. Crash is making noise in his water dish. The fun. fan is in the window. Like, there's a lot going on, so I'm going to try and make it quick for you. But I got this order, and I need to open it. And I'm not happy with DHL. Um, they didn't even bring it to my door. They just left it downstairs, which they never do. They usually bring it right to the door um, because I give them instructions to. And um, yeah, they held it for a whole entire week. So it got here to New York Customs on April 14th, which was last Friday. And it was supposed to be delivered Monday. I was like, okay, a little worried about them having it over the weekend. I was supposed to have it Monday. When it didn't come Monday, I was like, okay, maybe Tuesday. And then I start looking at the tracking and it says like that due to the nature of the contents, the goods, um, they needed to inspect it. So you'll see the little sticker here that says that it's been opened for inspection. So, um, I don't have a lot of hope for these plants, which is really sad because I spent a lot of money on them, um, and I haven't really had very many issues with Aeroid Asia. Like, I've had a couple of boxes just come really poorly, but they've improved on, like, their packaging and took criticism and constructive criticism really well. So I continued to import with them. This box feels mushy. David's like, you never know. And like the box literally feels mushy and like wet. So let's get to it. There's 10 plants in here that are the same. They're all philodendron, Florida ghost. But they don't feel floppy. So that's good, but the other ones are on the bottom, so I don't know if I can say the same for that. I really hope, oh my goodness, what did they do when they opened it? Like it doesn't look like they even did anything. I don't know why they had to have it for that long. Oh god babe, I see alive leaves. They're not floppy. They're not great. They look pretty bad, but like they're alive. This one anyway. It doesn't look like a wilted salad. No, it's definitely got like some leaves that are gonna come off, but like they're salvageable. It's just gonna take me way longer to flip them around, but it has new growth, which is good. Hopefully that actually makes it. Um, let's open like one more because like I said, there's 10 of these because I got them for inventory. Um, they're going to take more than a few weeks <laughs> to properly acclimate and not look like trash for you guys. Unless I decide to just kind of sell them as like trashy plants and like rehabs and lower the price. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe some will look okay. And some won't. This one looks better for sure. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're being negative now for no reason. Look at how pretty that is actually. So these are Philodendron Florida Ghost and they're actually like bigger than I thought they would be, which is nice. 
so some of these probably won't take more than a few weeks to acclimate we got to get in there and see the roots because for me with imports i'm very very careful and very deliberate i make sure that i'm giving you healthy plants that have roots that are more than just their import roots so um, I'll keep these in water for a couple of days and then I'll move them accordingly depending on their roots into whatever medium I think is appropriate usually it's like a mossy perlite mix if they don't have a ton of roots yet so they have roots but as you can tell they're kind of like sad roots this is what import roots usually look like honestly the ones from Aeroid Asia have been like the healthiest roots that I've ever received from any other company um, but they do still require rehabbing and these have been in a box for a week I mean what five days longer than they should have been and opened and who knows at least the temperatures weren't crazy like it's actually been a decent week but <sighs> these are there's two in here that i'm worried about so this is the adansonii aurea variegated and i'm terrified because these are not necessarily like easygoing plants the philodendron are they ship pretty good too they import really good Okay, first leaf doesn't look good that I see. They all look bad. Ugh. That sucks. I mean, it's alive. I'll be able to salvage the plant. It's got a new uh, leaf pushing out here. I'm trying to get it out from this leaf. So there's a new leaf coming in that'll hopefully be okay, but pretty much where there's variegation on this plant there's also damage it's just from the temperature not being regulated properly while these are inside the box and they were in there for way too long i think they would have been fine if they got here on monday like they were supposed to so that's really sad because it looked beautiful it was pretty um but it's alive so let's check the roots I'm trying to make this a quick one so we don't lollygag around here hopefully the rest of the philodendron florida beauties are okay i will take those all out but i'm not going to do them all on camera i'd say that so far the first two were okay i hope the rest are kind of always account for a little bit of loss especially even with imports if they come looking okay sometimes they don't acclimate well so you kind of always have to account for some bit of loss it's the same thing when you propagate you propagate a bunch of things like some are just some cuttings are going to do better than others some never want to root some just totally die and you're like okay that's fine because I, I all the rest of them are are rooting and there's really no rhyme or reason to it it's just kind of how it is so uh, let's hope that everything is healthy below the surface here. Unwrap the mummy roots. Well, we need a toilet paper, babe. Here, I got tons. Oh, great. <laughs> ah, gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> they wrap them in toilet paper the and paper. tissues. They wrap the leaves up in tissues. Which is usually a good uh, method. Okay, so we have like the oldest leaf here is rotting and falling off. So we're going to take that off. But the rest of them, I'm honestly, I'm going to leave these on the plant. Because even though they look rough, <laughs> this leaf that's coming out is still using the energy from the rest of the plant. And now it's gone through the trauma of shipping. I'm going to have to reroot it. And um, I just want the plant to kill off these leaves on its own, essentially. Like this one just, it fell off because it was rotted at the base. 
um, or else I would have left it on. Look at how beautiful it would have been. Oh, it's so pretty. So if you guys have been here for a while, you know that Monstera Ansonii is one of my favorite plants of all time. I just think it's a really classic leaf with the fenestrations. I don't have like a regular green one, but I have the Monstera Esqueleto, which is like a way better version of it with the massive leaves. So obviously I want the variegated versions of this plant. Um, and this is just really sad because even though it is an import, it still wasn't cheap. I think this one was like 75 which is better than what you're going to pay here for a plant this size. But for the amount of rehab I'm going to have to do on it, it's just like kind of sad. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, yeah, because I want to have a happy, healthy plant that I can propagate and share. But it's going to take a long time to get this looking good. We'll see. Usually they grow pretty well. I've never had a variegated one, so let me know in the comments below if you have a variegated Adansonii and if it grows quickly for you, like the green one, or if it's slow. I mean, all variegated plants are a little bit slower usually. I just can't get over how beautiful that would have been. Okay, I'm very nervous about this next plant because it's on the bottom of the box. I'm going to take out all the Florida ghosts on top here. These seem fine because they're like smaller and like on top because this other one looks wet under here, like even the writing. <laughs> I'm going to try really hard not to cry. This is like one of my top wish list plants and it's shoved in the bottom of this box and it's wet. Did you see what it said? You can't even read it because it's wet. It says Bonstera something or other variegated. Just do it. Rip the bandaid off. You got this. It's so big. And they showed me pictures and let me pick the one I wanted and everything. And then they're like, choose this one to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The stems are okay. Hold it together. I just don't want to lift it up and like mess it up. Okay, all I see the, green. I see green. All the positive energy. I see yellow. Plant. I see yellow. This is right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Positive plant family. Oh my goodness. Hey. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, now I'm going to cry because I'm happy. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, it's fine. It's completely fine. Okay, it has one little like brown tip. <gasps> Babe, look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. Huh. I was so prepared to have this ruin my day. <laughs> I don't know how to feel right now. <laughs> because even though this is an import, so I paid way less than I would pay for a plant this size if I bought it here, it still was not cheap. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking beautiful. Look at that new leaf. You guys, I have wanted this plant. This was like on my list of like plants that I need to get this year. Like have to splurge. Sorry, I keep touching my hair because it looks so greasy and gross. <laughs> I just, I need to go wash it. But I wanted to film this first so I didn't have wet hair. Look at that leaf. Oh my goodness. And that's the newest one. Okay, we got to get into the roots. My cat is watching me from the couch. Like, what is going on right now? It's not a snack. He loves Adansonii, that's for sure. You can't have that one. It's already sad enough. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. I don't know what to do. I've been so stressed about this all week and I kind of just like gave up 
hope on this plant. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really, really thought that it would be severely damaged. And like, I'll take that just the one Adansonia I'm needing to be the rehab because I didn't have that in my head that I was gonna flip that around anytime soon. You know, I want to gr like grow it out and take cuttings for the website, but the uh, the Florida ghosts are actually really nice too. Oh my gosh! Whoo! Then I gotta have the fun part of figuring out where I'm gonna put them all. And this isn't even a big <laughs> order. I watch people sometimes on Instagram unbox like massive import orders for their shop and I'm just like where are you gonna put those even just these 10 are a lot for me because they're uh, bigger than I thought they would be we're gonna have to reorganize my bins for sure because I like to isolate them like with the same plants I don't want to just like throw them in with my inventory, not really knowing exactly what's going on. The variegation on these petioles too. So one really easy way to know whether or not you're gonna get a variegated leaf is to look at the petiole where the new leaf is gonna come out. So you see this one is green, but if you look at its petiole here, it had this yellow stripe in it right where this next leaf came out from and look at it <laughs> compared to that one this was the next leaf out and then so what I'm gonna do again is look it's usually on the top of the petiole here where it's gonna come out from um, it looks it's kind of hard to tell it looks like it might have some striping. Yeah, I can see it actually going through. You probably can't see, but there's like a neon stripe that goes through the center. And this is where a new leaf is gonna come out from. So there's like actually tons of striping on this petiole. So I expect the new leaf to be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The roots don't look great. Um, they're literally falling off. That's fine. And my friend told me that they can kind of be a pain to root. So she is going to help me walk me through not killing this. It's just so pretty. Like, wow. That's gorgeous. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so let's just hope that I keep it alive now because it got here alive. Uh, and now it's my responsibility to keep it alive. So this is actually a Monstera mam Mamorata. It's not a Deliciosa, and it's not a Borzigiana, but it, it looks like a Deliciosa, and I think it gets pretty big like a Deliciosa, but I'm not 100% positive. So that's always interesting because the Taikan is a Deliciosa, and the Albo can be either or. It can be a Deliciosa or... A Borzigiana, if I'm not mistaken, or there's a large form and a small form. I don't know for sure exactly if that is like the same thing, but that's how my brain processes it. So they're all like different Monstera species technically, which is weird because they all look the same. But anyway, I'm gonna shush. Um, overall, I'd say that this was a decent order. These don't mm. ship well, so. Would you, you give know. it like a C, C plus? No, I would give it, I would give it a B, a B minus, but I still have eight more of those to open. Um, but the first two were okay, so the rest should be all right. Uh, they're pretty resilient plants, which is why I ordered them. And I wasn't afraid to import 10 of them at one time because I've imported them before and, and they've done really well for me. So they have beautiful variegation actually, better than mine. I might have to keep one. Anyway, I'm gonna go, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and for all the good vibes that you were probably sending me while I was opening these. Uh, they must have helped because 
everything seems fine. So you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Is that my food? Yes. Um, what was I saying? There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Perk all perks. that good stuff. Yeah, all the perky perks. I'm going to eat my bacon and eggs now. And um, I love you so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.